This is how a thermocouple actually works. Let's open it up. Mm. Looks like the pilot's out. That's an easy one. But of course. Ah, I left it in the truck. The very delicate process. <sighs> Trying not to lock ourselves out. Come on. Tough to see, but the pilot is lit. Now we're gonna let go. Yeah, I'd say that's bad. I know what happened. While I was lighting the pilot, I noticed a tiny little flame down in this area. And if you look, the pilot tube is loose. So this little flame was melting the thermocouple. Totally makes sense. And since we're on the subject of thermocouples, and you've probably seen me change them a dozen times, and you'll probably change them hundreds of times in your lifetime, Let's go over how they work. All right, super quickly, we're gonna just go over the basics of a thermocouple. It's a bimetal little thing that when you heat it, that metal, as it heats up and expands, it creates a DC voltage. That DC voltage goes down the little copper tube to the gas valve, which that DC voltage keeps the pilot valve open, which then feeds more gas. And because of flame, you know, since it gets constant fuel, oxygen, and heat, stays lit constantly, constantly heats our thermocouple, and the whole cycle continues. This will be the proper way to test our thermocouple if you don't want to take it out of the, uh, the whole assembly yet. We take one of our leads, I put an alligator clamp on just both leads of my multimeter. We put one on the end of our thermocouple tube and the other just, you know, on the copper line. We come over and switch our meter to volts DC. And you'll probably see it bounce around a little bit if, you know, if it was just a little warm. What we do is we take our flame, come over and heat up our thermocouple. And then we heat up the end of our thermocouple, simulating like we're the pilot light. And we look at our voltage, and we got nothing. All right, and now we do the same thing, just with our new thermocouple. We start to heat it up. And we watch our numbers go up. Just don't do it with the out, with the uh, lighter, you know. It's, this isn't a clean burn. That's why I got all this carbon residue on my hands. Uh, but the pilot valve is. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, how often do I test them like that? Never. Why would I do that? With enough experience, you'll come to realize the second you go and light a pilot, if it doesn't stay lit, by now I know it's a bad thermocouple. And if it's not, and let's say you have to change the gas valve because it's bad, I mean, you should change the thermocouple anyway. So it's, it's a win-win. If that's a thing, I'm just gonna put it back on, okay. Here's a little pro tip too for whenever you're putting a, like a thermocouple or like the pilot tubing with these tiny little threads on, try to go at least three full rotations before you break out like the pliers or something, just so you're not, you're not cross-threading. Once you start going in and it's cross-threaded, it's gonna get really difficult really quick. All right, so I wasn't able to tighten the pilot tube on the pilot assembly. So I just took it out. We're gonna have to put a new one on. I'll show you how to do that too. It's a two for one kind of day. So you're gonna wanna get 
one of these packs. This is basically just the tubing that connects. But it only comes with one of these for some strange reason, so you're gonna have to get another one. Right. So as you can see, oh man, this will flow through freely. You see what happens is this little brass bit on the end, this is actually the compression fitting. This little connection will break off when you put it inside either the pilot or the gas valve. This snaps off as we tighten it and the same rule applies, three revolutions first. And I say we try, you know, it's a loose we try. It's the old, uh, the old college try, pretty close. But it, you're gonna get like a false sense of it being in because what happens is that this is gonna tighten up you know, as far as it can go right now, that'll snap the little compression fitting off of the little brass connector. Sometimes you hear it, sometimes you feel it right there. Yep, now I can tighten it a little bit more. And just a little tip so you don't mess up like I did. Um, you wanna make sure you push the pilot tubing in all the way and have to redo it. Also, if you take the thermocouple off, it's probably 10 times easier than it is with it on. Did I do that? Of course not. Should I have cut the excess off? Yes. Yes, I should. You kind of want to make it look a little bit neater. I mean, keep it in mind though, like, we don't have an hour to, you know, have all the fancy curves and the bends. I mean, look where we are. No one really cares if it's that neat. They just want hot water. So, turn on the gas valve. Whoa! That scared me. 